welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Virgo's Broken Heart reading for July 2021. In this message, we're just going to tap right into the energies with a traditional deck. We're going to look into how to resolve conflict between you and another person. So in this message, Virgo, we are going to look into your part of the challenge, your person's part of the challenge, what each of you can do to resolve the challenge. Are there other influences? Can it be saved? And is it worth it? Clarify throughout the message as well as pull a few cards at the end for advice guidance moving forward. If that's something you guys are interested in. You're more than welcome in joining us. So Virgo, let's see what we can see for you guys for the month of July 2021. Please and thank you. Most important message here for Virgo spirit. What does Virgo need to see for July 2021? regarding how to resolve conflict between them and another person please and thank you I feel here virgo somebody is trying to exude control over a family dynamic over a long-term connection I feel here there is somebody that is trying to come forward. Somebody is trying to express how they feel emotionally, but there is this disconnect here between you and this person. There's an inconsistency also that I feel with the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So let's tap a little bit deeper into the energy, see what we can see for you guys. Okay. Please keep in mind the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits, personal readings, extended versions, it's all linked below in the description box. And Virgo, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. Now we're going to clarify all of this here in a minute, but I feel like there is a need to, if you see a future with this person. Now, this can go either way, okay? Because I feel here for some of you, you're trying to see the truth of the matter, bring clarity to the situation, be practical, okay? I feel like you do feel deep emotional ties to this person. Um, but there is some blockages. There may even be a disconnect, not communicating or communicating very minimally. Your person is coming out at the Three of Cups in the reverse with the Two of Wands, so there is an energy of possibly a third party, but multiple there's two paths, two directions this person can choose from, and they're trying to make a decision here. So let's clarify this. Six of Cups with the Ace of Swords. I feel like there is some truth that's going to be brought to light that's going to help you to understand the situation. But what I see here, Virgo, is this person will eventually choose you if you choose yourself first. What do I mean by that? You have to put your own happiness, your own goals, your own ambition. You may find out that this person is involved with another person or has just left a toxic situation, having a hard time releasing. And maybe they're not trying to get you caught up in this mess, okay? Clarify this Three of Cups here with the Two of Wands for Virgo's person, please and thank you. Feel like they are having a hard time releasing something that is no longer serving them, Virgo. And what I feel here is this is going to be, be a very tumultuous ending for them if they walk away from whatever it is that they're trying to disconnect from. There is a deep emotional connection here, but again, I feel like there's some blockages, OK? 
okay. This person has to release whatever it is that they're holding on to from the past or whatever they're trying to release, whatever's holding on to them. Um, and this could take a while for them to do so. A while for them to disconnect from this person. Okay. Also feel here, Virgo, that this is very heavy for them to carry. Okay. Um, I feel like they want to come together. There is an energy of wanting to come together, wanting to move forward, uh, but uncertain of how to do so. Okay. We're going to pull a few cards out here at the end for some advice, guidance moving forward, Virgo. But what I feel so far that's coming out is if you see a future with this person, okay? If you see this person in your future, you want this to work out. There is going to be a need to focus on that internal peace because you're going to have to be a safe spot for this person to be when they're going through their turmoil their conflict there is an energy of a deep connection so you and this person just have a deep bond maybe not even knowing what it is or what it means for some of you it's going to be a soul tie connection but i feel here that it your person is in the midst of a transformation the death card represents a significant ending that's taking place in their life right now it's causing them heavy burdens in moving forward a lot of instability a lot of uncertainty and right now i feel here virgo they're just they need a safe a safe place to rest okay um whenever it is they're going through this conflict so Virgo. The cards that are coming out for your advice guidance moving forward, we have the Strength, the Four of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Okay. If you're finding that this message has been helpful so far that it's resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all freaking amazing. There is a need here to kind of accept the position that you're in right now. Not exactly where you want to be, but you have made a lot of accomplishments. You've moved forward very significantly in your healing process. Okay. There's still ways to go, Virgo. There's still a little bit of healing to do. Okay, the three of wands is present, so focusing on the path where you see yourself headed um, temporarily, and then what, what steps you need to take to get there on your own. What I feel like the Ten of Pentacles symbolizes is finding that stability, that security within self, and being there for this person when you can be, but not over exuding yourself, not depleting your energy for this person. You have to make a determination, okay? If you feel that this is a soul tie connection and this is your person, you guys maybe have a little bit more time invested, what have you, then it is going to be okay to take some time with this person. However, if this is a new connection and this has just recently come together, maybe within the next month or so, then maybe there's a need to kind of release for now understanding if this is a soul tie connection that they will come back around that it's not going to matter one way or the other right the universe has its ways okay your journey is important virgo the path that you're on whatever it is that you're learning at this time whatever you're going through within this process it's important to understand that you're going to be able to help other people through their process moving forward. So you need to take some time right now and absorb everything that you're learning along this journey. Let's get a soul journey message. 
Virgo for your reading. One thing that's helped me is just being aware, trying to be aware, understanding that awareness is the key. So being aware when I get upset, when I get angry, what's triggering me. When I get happy, when I get joyful or overexcited, what's triggering that, you know? Um, it's going to be important at this time to focus on your triggers and what lessons you're needing to learn at a soul level, okay? Four of Swords, strength. Strength a lot of times symbolizes the beginning phases of Dark Knight of the Soul. This card is acceptance, okay? It's accepting not only the good parts of self, but the bad as well, right? Not only the positive, but the negative, the yin and the yang. Everything in life has the good and the bad, the positive and the negative. What you choose to focus on, Virgo, is what will continue to grow. Really, really, it's up to you. And I feel like you're kind of coming to that understanding or have come to that understanding and really trying to balance out those energies. But here's the key. And get, falling in love with the process, enjoying the process is important. So enjoying finding those lessons within those trials and tribulations because there's going to be challenges that come out through life no matter what age, no matter what position you are in, okay? There's always going to be something that you're going to be able to learn to enrich, okay? Your soul journey message coming out for the reading here, Virgo, is relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. I am going to do an extended version to the reading, guys. In the extended version, we're going to take a little bit deeper look into the hidden energies. We'll look at your person's true intentions moving forward, the outcome if the advice is followed. It's all going down in the extended version, and the links are all below. Your soul journey message for relationships. In this three-dimensional world in which we live, there is a sense that we are separate from one another. And also that we meet by chance. This is an illusion. There are people in our lives that are drawn to us and are here for a reason. It is through sharing experiences and having relationships with others that we begin to understand ourselves. When someone appears in your life, you must see what is not resolved or whole in the person and understand the lesson he or she brings home to you. You draw others to you like magnets in order to learn various aspects of yourself. The people you have close relationships with on earth are usually members of your soul family. You've chosen to incarnate together to help each other learn lessons. Even though it may not seem that way to you now, once a lesson is learned, don't be surprised if a person fades away. People are in your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. There's definitely a lesson to be learned from every person that enters and exits our life. There is, you are coming to that understanding at this time, okay? Coming to that point of acceptance question here Virgo is what is there to learn from this because if we don't learn the lesson the soul lesson we're meant to learn the instructions we're meant to receive through that process we'll eventually end up repeating that lesson the same situation just a different face so asking yourself, what is the lesson here is going to be important. It's going to be key. How does this person trigger you, right? What memory is that bringing up for you? And how can you resolve to change that, okay? Why is that feeling so uncomfortable? You know, why is it so unbearable? Why do you avoid trying to process that emotion? For Truth's message, Virgo, is don't take anything personally. Be immune to others' opinions. 
what others say and do is a projection of their own reality, their own dream. When you are immune to others' opinions and actions of others, you won't be made the victim of needless suffering. Be immune to others' opinions, beautiful Virgo, beautiful. So Virgo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.